I wonder what may be the construction of a staircase signed and constructed in such a cantilever way. Hi friends and welcome back to channel MI Muhammad Ibrahim Architecture and Interior Designing Projects. In this video, we would be learning something on building construction. So let us start the show. Staircase. Staircase is an important component of a building providing access to different floors. It consists of a flight of steps or stairs and one or more intermediate landing slabs between the floor slabs and between the floor levels. Different types of staircases can be made by arranging stairs and landing slabs. Staircases thus is a structure enclosing stairs. Types of staircases Single flight staircase, two flight staircase or dog legged staircase, open well staircase, helicoidal staircase, spiral staircase. Depending upon the design, staircases can be designed in many types. For example, straight, straight staircase with one flight of steps and no landing. Straight staircase with one flight of stairs and a landing. Straight staircase with two flights of stairs at a 90 degree turn. Straight staircase with two flights of stairs at a 180 degree turn. Straight staircase with three flights and two landings at a 90 degree turn. Straight staircase with three flights and three landings at a 90 degree turn. Straight staircase with three flights and landing at a 90 degree turn. Straight staircase with three flights and landing at a 180 degree turn. Curved staircase with an arc shape. Curved staircase with an cosinus arc shape and landing. Circular curved staircase. Reinforced cement concrete staircase construction. Equip yourself with a stair building vocabulary. Each step consists of two main parts a riser, with, which is a vertical part of step, and the tread, which is the part of step on. Other important terms to know where building your stairs include the pitch line, an imaginary line which runs from the lip, from the tip of, of the bottom staircase to the tip of the topmost step. The pitch of the stairs is the angle between the base of the stairs and the pitch line. The rise which is the total height of your staircase from its base to the topmost step. The run of your stairs, which is the depth of your stair measured from the front of your staircase to its back. The stringers or the stringer beam of your stairs are the side supports to either side of each step. The measurements of your 
stringer beam will be used in the creation of your concrete form measure the dimension of your stairs first you will need to find the total rise of your stairs which can be found by measuring the total height of the plant base to the higher level or floor level you are building up to measure the run of the steps by finding the distance between the foremost and backmost part of the stair find the width of your stairs by measuring the distance between the leftmost and rightmost bounds of your planned steps calculate the number of steps you will need you can do this by finding the rise total height from the bottom level to the top level of your stairs and dividing that number by the riser height the height of each step standard risers are between 6 to 8 inches it means 15 to 20 cm fine the building code in some states sets the maximum riser height at 8.25 inches it means 21 centimeters but you should be sure to check your local building codes to prevent building stairs that violate state code or local ordinances in this number if this number comes out as a decimal you must round up to the next whole number if your stairs are built so the topmost tread is a step below the level or floor you are building up to the number of treads you need will be one less than the number of risers otherwise you will need an equal number of treads and risers okay there are many online sites that offer simple steps calculators to simplify this process. Determine the height and depth of your tread. The depth of each tread, the top surface of the step, is the little more flexible. But each should be at least 11 inches 27.9 centimeters to accommodate both large and small feet okay find the height of your riser divide the total rise height from floor to floor of the entire stake is by the number of risers generally you should round the riser height to your step to the nearest find the length of your stringers or the stringer beam the stringer beams of your stairs will form the angled side parts of your form or either side of your stair to find the length of your stringers multiply your total rise by itself then multiply the total run by itself after that you will need to add the riser multiplied by itself and then run multiplied by itself together okay and then take the square root of that number getting it finally find the angle of your stringers by taking inverse sign sign inverse and your total riser divided by the length of your stringers it may be easiest to use a calculator phone or online calculator to find the length and angle of your stringers 
the square root symbol will look like a check mark or the check mark with the horizontal top plan for handrails if you need them you may have to install brackets in the concrete when you pour so determine if handrails are a necessity or for your stairs if the stairs are next to a well you can always attach your handrail to that it will be safer If you like the video please share your feedbacks in the comments below and if there is any kind of question which you have to ask your comments are most welcome thank you